Hello Fruit followers. my name is Mr. M. Fretwell and welcome back to Spellbound Caves. And in today's episode we're going to hopefully try and uh, get a piece of wool out of the Rattlebone Crypts. So that's kind of the, the target today. So I've been extremely busy off camera. I have stood a while at my grinder uh, over at the Tenuous Crystals and I've got myself a set of Diamond Armor and Diamond Sword. So this took over a day, uh, I, I had some work to do um, a couple of days ago basically and I um, sat by my grinder uh, for a couple of days and uh, got this gear and not without um, some issues. Let me show you what I got. I got this sword which has basically everything in the world on it apart from sharpness 5 so that was a really good enchant. Um, diving helmet um, but with protection 4 on it. Diamond helmet, diving helmet <laughs> Um, obviously, we had this from before. That was the diamond chest plate from the Cenote. I've not enchanted another one of those. We got protection four on the diamond leggings and feather falling four protection three on the diamond boots. So pretty handy. Uh, we did get some stinky enchants. I got fire protection four on those, blast protection four on that, and I got a crummy sword smite four as as well. So, um, hmm. Not the best in the world, I have to say. So, um, we're going to wear this armor. My concern, though, is my diamond supply is quite low. And if I run out, I've got to go back to the skittering mines, which I'm not too fond of. I have to admit, I didn't really want to be going back there. So we've got some old pants to go away. Um, I put my chest piece already away, the helmet and the booties. I'm carrying these glass bottles around and I'm not sure what for. So let's put those away at the same time. I don't know really why I'm carrying the shovel but it could be handy. I don't think we'll need the TNT but I'm bringing it anyway. I'm going to put ender pearls there in case we need to take a quick getaway for whatever reason. I have got some potatoes cooking. I um, didn't actually collect my bones from the grinder, I just tossed them out because I have a ton of bones and they were just kind of clogging up inventory space and I had to keep lugging them all back so it made no real sense to me so I just threw them out instead. And that's that, so, oh I didn't bring my sword, I need to bring my sword. I also got a looting three iron sword and combined it with the sharpness four one that I already had um, and I actually hunted some endermen with this as well. I'm gonna grab that. So uh, this is where I got the 12 ender pearls from. I killed about 5 endermen and I got uh, those 12 ender pearls. So that's going to be really handy for tackling future things. And actually we don't even need to go here do we? We need to go to the blackened library um, and we need to take the rattlebone shortcut. Um, so we'll probably be starting it from the, from the back. Um, this place looks by far the roughest place that we've encountered yet by a clear mile from running through it several times um, in order to in order to basically um, to get through when we did the skittering mines and when we came in from the rumbling cavern so I'm gonna have to be careful about how I approach it spider jockey I'm looking for where the whoa I'm looking for where the path is and I, I never find this path I never ever seem to find this path properly. And that's the thorns kicking in. I know it's right down at the bottom somewhere. Am I on the wrong side? I bet I'm on the wrong side. I always seem to... I always get lost on this run and I, and I don't really know why but... I always get lost unfortunately. Some books ended up getting burnt there. I blocked that entrance off, so it's not that way. It's right down near the iron bars. I, I know that. Hello. Get out of here. I really want to use my sword. I'll use the battle sign for right here. Ah, there it is. Get out of here. Right there. So we need to go down another tier. And it's right here. I've actually cut this out, I think, in the past, but I don't know. It's quite dangerous, I noticed, I think, before a creeper blew up on me. I didn't fall in the lava, but it's still a, quite a risky run, that one. I am never comfortable doing that near the ledges right there. 
So this is the Rattlebone Crips. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I really want to approach this. Do I want to come from uh, the other way? As you can see, there's these spawners right here, and there's a lot of them. There, there's spawners all throughout this place. There's no way I could successfully clear all of that out in one go. And there's these kind of these like these little glass things, and that is light down there. So I think there's something in that crypt right here. These are all crypts, I think. So I think, do I want to end a pearl down there uh, and try and get in there and see what is around before anything spawns in? I think I do. Do I want to take the speed potion? Um, why not? Let, whoops. Let's just take the speed potion. It could be handy. Um, let's get that right there. And I need to kind of end a pearl right down there. Wool! <laughs> My eyesight was good, green. So I think the idea here is that you sprint through the crypts. That's my idea. And you kind of take a look for chests. Um, there's a chest in there. I'm just going to try and get a light down in, in each. There's nothing in that one. I can always come back here. Chest in that one. Ugh. There's probably something in there. I'm just trying to... This is hard, isn't it? Nothing in that one. Because there's four spawners per crypt, and there's a Dystonian battle sign in there. Nothing in that one. So I definitely want the Dystonian battle sign. We'll come back for that. I'm just trying to take a look around. That's combat supplies. I don't need that one. So I don't really want a tunnel, if I can help it. I don't want a tunnel. I think that's kind of boring, so I would like to avoid that if possible. So I'm just trying to get a, a look around what is actually meant to be here. Now, I, I my guarantee, I think, is that here there is, there is at least one more piece of wool. Without a doubt, there has to be. Now I'm out of that speed boost, so now would be a good time, I think, to make a quick haste and take another one. So I'm going to move around the edge here, kind of skirt around the edge. And in fact, I'm actually going to lob an ender pearl, and I want the speed pot, this guy. Now let's take this. Now, what even was in that slot? Food, that was it, wasn't it? So, I want to get around this edge again. Because I want to get my food back on the bar. Kind of as quick as possible. We are actually out of torches now anyway, so... We need to get food on the bar. I do want to make some torches. I wish that speed boost lasted longer. Alright, I'll be right with you. If the thorns doesn't kill you first. Whoa, look at all these guys. So we've got a new set of torches. So let's try and... There's a chest in that one. So my objective right now is to try and locate any wool. I can come back for loot later. That's not that important. Get out of here. I'm trying to get out. Out of the way. I'm not taking too many hits, so that's a, that's a good thing. I think that's the diamond armor uh, doing its thing. There's actually a, an unnamed chest there. I think an enderman may have stole the block on that one, personally. I think all the chests here are named. There is no random loot. I don't even think Vex had access to that tool at the time we this map was made, unless he went back and added some in. So we are out of that speed boost again, which is never ideal. I am getting hungry, I am aware of that. I would like to move into a safer area. Try and grab something to eat. And uh, let's move around the outside. The zombies aren't so much a threat. Um, and neither are the skeletons at this point. The threat I have right now 
is creepers. And I think it's just the fact that you get kind of bumped around like this that makes this such a challenge. We have one row of crypts left. So obviously I'm looking for wool. Um, if there is no more wool, then I will probably head back to the Victory Monument and then we will come back here and then we will get any important loot out of these guys. Because probably what I will do then is I might tunnel so much of it. Out of the way, dude. Not, not in the mood for your games right now. Nothing in that one. Oh, wait, I actually missed a row, didn't I? I've missed a row. Uh, the row next to us, I've actually missed that. So I'll have to go back and do that one. Nothing in any of those. So we've got this row to do. Uh, let's get back to the uh, the hole here and see if we can see if we can't find. Oh, I'm actually out of wood. That's a problem. Um, do I have any left in the chest over here? I know I did drop a chest down right here. Did I leave any wood in it? No, of course I didn't. That would be too wise. Um, Alright, well I'm going to need more wood. I do have eight touch... Oh no, I have another stack. It's fine. <laughs> I didn't notice that stack. Uh, we do have another stack, so we, we are good to go. We've reloaded on torches. Rattlebone Crips. Here we come. Let's take some more food. Uh, do I want to saturate myself? I think I do. For this area, let, let us saturate. I'm, I'm not even going to bother fighting you. It's just time wasted, isn't it? Man, you don't realise how slow you actually are when you when you don't have that speed boost on. Punch bows here could be a problem, I have to admit. I don't think there's anything in that one. I may head back for more speed. That might be... I'm going to head back for some more speed! <laughs> What's in here? Oh, there's wool in here. I thought there would be at least one more piece of wool. Now what I want to do is, I think that's going to be all the wool in here. Certainly. I want to get out of here. And I kind of want to get some more speed potions and come back here more prepared to uh, to loot this place. I doubt that there will be any more wool. In fact, I think I've basically done all the crypts anyway. So I don't think I will have missed anything. I think the last two walls are going to be in the uh, in the um, Blackheart Citadel. There we go. Now I send a pearl throw in there. Um, so we've got two pieces of wool. We've got blue and green. And uh, how's my armor doing? Uh, not too bad, actually. I was worried that I was going to take a lot of hits, and that could be a problem, especially considering I still have to do the Blackheart Citadel yet. But this seems to be good news. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back up to the Victory Monument, and then what we will do is... Uh, hmm... I don't know how long I've been recording, so what I'll do is I'll get back to the Victory Monument and then I'll either sign I will sign off at and then if there is more time for the for the rest of the episode, what I will actually do then is I will uh go back and we will loot it at the end of well after the end of what I will consider this episode. And if not, then it will be next time. So I want to spend at least one more episode in uh in the Rattlebone Crypts because I think there could be some valuable loot there for the final area which is the Blackheart Citadel. How long has that guy been there holding that cobble? There we are. I was actually pretty impressed with how that went. I was thinking it was going to go a lot more poorly than what it did especially when my speed boost ran out. That was my biggest concern that I wasn't going to be able to cope with speed and without speed should I say and the thing is the biggest issue I had was more than anything skeletons and skeletons knocking me into zombies which was the problem so no we don't want to go to the cenote the tenuous crystals victory monument there we are oh okay um, do I have any uh, junk that I want to dispose of I can put it in this chest right here arrows I don't think I'm saving arrows anymore zombie flesh I do have a building blocks chest right yeah 
I could put the stone slabs. I just happened to run into that chest. I didn't know it was there. And looped the remaining part of it. Um, so we definitely want the blue and the green wool. Stack those up. I'm surprised. I didn't even have to use any of my speed or health potions. I think that's what protection armor is really doing for us, to be honest. So, alright, so blue and green. Well, how much the brown in the middle? I know it was the, the troll wool, but perhaps you could have... Perhaps it should have been actually in the Rattlebone Crypts, I don't know, but never mind, that's just a, that's just, that's just me, I guess. So, uh, whew, that was uh, quite a rapid ride. You may notice that I am stuttering a little and whatnot. That's uh, because I've, I'm shaking, I'm shaking all over for, from, from, <laughs> from that wild ride that I had to really concentrate in there to, to get it right. But anyway, here we are. We've got blue wool and we've got green wool. So uh, my inclination is the last two are going to be in the Black Heart Citadel. I don't think Vex would put three in there. But uh, after we've uh, finished looting the Rattlebone Crypts next time, I will probably head to the Black Heart Citadel and we'll find out. So, all right. Blue wool on a one, a two, a three. Yeah, and uh, let's do the tune. Here we are, almost forgot. <laughs> okay, so we got this one from Tomb Raiding. Um, well, well, actually it's Crypt Raiding, isn't it? They, they were Crypts, not Tombs. Uh, that's not even how you spell Crypt, is it? Is that it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, spelling is not my uh, strong point. Forget that. Um, speed Scavenging. I, I I give up. <laughs> Speed searching tunnels. Um, and I know what I'm gonna write for this one uh, because we got this one basically by only searching one crypt. I'm just gonna eat a potato and uh, let's get the torch back out. So green wool on a one, a two, a three. There we go. And we got this from first attempt one pearl shot. There we go. Light it up. So, almost finished with the victory monument here. Just the red and the black wool left. As I say, next time we will go and uh, loot the uh, Rattlebone Crypts for any more goods it has in there. Um, I know that there's a Zestonian Battle Sign level 4, which is better than this one. I remember from my playthrough of Infernal Sky, I think it has sharpness 4 or 5. So that could be a handy alternative to this. Um, for the time being, anyway. This will still be my blocking weapon. I, I have to say, I didn't do too much combat in that area. I think that was the idea. Combat would slow you down. Then you would get just get pinged around by skeletons, so... Uh, that will be near enough impossible in 1.5, I think, on this difficulty with uh, the rapid fire and skeletons. So that was kind of a wise move by oneself here. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I know some people will want to know at kind of what's, what rate the videos are being uploaded. At the moment, they're going up every other day. But uh, at the time I'm recording this, it uh, was recorded... Uh, well, episode 2 has just gone live so I kind of recorded this in advance I started recording it in February uh, and then it kind of just, just stopped basically I ended up running into some different projects and things that slowed me down but I'm now finally getting back to it um, and we're almost finished I don't know why that torch is there take that back but yeah um, I ended up taking a little break through March I think for a, for a week or so and then I went back to it but I've only been able to record it infrequently, so yeah, um, that's just that little story right there. So obviously, after we've looted the Rattlebone Crypts, we'll do the Black Heart Citadel, and then we'll go back if we need to uh, find either. I think if if it's not there, the one we'll need to find is the red. I think I have a good idea of, that the black will be in the Black Heart Citadel. It just makes sense with the name. So we might have to go back and do some searching for red wool, but then. We will have finished with this series. I will do a full post-mortem on it, of course. Uh, and after that, then, that's another super hostile map that we've completed. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have another potato. And I'm going to sign off for today, guys. I think this episode is going to be more than long enough now. 
and I hope to see you in the next one. So until then guys, see you later and have a good day.